Hi, um, this is Skyrogue. This is a game I got, oh, a long time ago. Um, way, way, way back before it was on Steam. I seem to remember coming across it on Reddit somewhere. I, I don't know how old this game is. I want to say, well, actually, looking at the copyright, it's um, 2013, which sounds about right. I think it must have been about 2013, maybe early 2014. Um, I think I saw mention of it on Reddit or somewhere like that. I can't for the life of me remember where. And it looked so much fun, and it was really quite cheap. Um, the seem to remember you could buy it off the um, creator's website. Oh, somewhere like that, which I did. And then sometime later it um, went on Steam and um, I seem to remember as I, uh, someone who had already bought it, you could get a Steam key for it. And so I've had it on Steam ever since then. So anyway, I thought I'd come in and just do a little play. Um, I... Had after, because um, as I may have mentioned in other videos that people may or may not have watched, um, it's about six, seven months ago now, I got myself a gaming PC to go by the side of the TV. First gaming PC, actual PC um, I've had in quite a long time. Um, I setting up Steam again and downloading stuff. I did download this at the time and play around with it a wee bit. Um, I haven't played it for ooh, two three months i think or something like that um i'm just going to dive straight in i'm not entirely sure i can remember the controls it might come to me um so let's see okay yeah that's accelerate that's decelerate and oh yeah it's x and y and things like that uh the guns i seem to remember um what is it change okay that fires Okay, why changes what I'm what have I got selected there? Can't remember what I got selected. Okay, that's the guns, that's no good. Okay, let's go with um can't quite see rockets. Okay, that's what I've got selected now. Right, so I'm supposed to be taking out this foundry. See if we can do this. Oh. oh, that was terrible. Oh, I got a few shots. A few of them over shot as well, though. Um. Ah, no, I wanted to. There we go. Ah, I keep firing the wrong bloody stuff. Oh. Yes, that's it. I remember pressing the left stick. There's a little... Ah, I keep pressing the wrong damn... <laughs> it's all going wrong. So I need to... Okay, it's Y to change. Oh, B's flare. Okay. So that's rockets, micro S, gun T, gun rockets. So I think it's rockets I want. Ah. Yay, there we go. Let's go back to my base. Whoa. Oh, that's a lot of stuff coming after me. <laughs> I should take on um, whatever's coming after me. I'm not sure what was coming after me, actually. Normally there's like drone aircraft or whatever comes after you, but I wasn't seeing any of those. Right, let's see if I can do the landing. Since remember you don't really have to do a landing as such, you just kind of got to get close to the deck of the heli carrier and slow down. So let's see if we can do that without crashing. There we go. 
Right, it's my first mission complete and really not very well done, but it's a start, right? Okay, let's just have a look at this loadout business. Um, can I change? Oh, that looks fun. So I seem to remember that's one I designed myself. And yeah, I painted myself and stuff like that. Um, I'm just trying to, okay, we'll go with that. Okay, so we can have, it's also micro S, that doesn't tell me much. Uh, micro missile, heavy, oh, oh, it's the swarm, right, swarm missile. Okay, I think I've probably got a decent loadout on this. So let's launch. So micro S is for taking on um, other aircraft, I seem to remember. Right. Oh, it looks like that's what we're about to do. Um, is it going to get a lock on? Is it going to lock on to anything? Try to get closer. So uh, it is definitely a good while since I play this stuff. Ah, there we go. That's it. Whee! Come here. There we go. These are quite slow. Right, that's, whoa, that one got really close to me. Oh, stall, come on. <laughs> These are so slow. Close to my stall speed, it seems. Can't remember, do you have infinite ammo? Lock on, come on. There we go. Go out. Whoa, something is something shooting at me? This sounded like something shooting at me. Got that one. I'm close by. No. Where is he? No, that's not it. Okay, I got. It's kind of like the missiles need to recharge sort of thing. But you only get so many off in one go. <laughs> this is so slow. Right, put that one side. Let's just go over the top and come back around for it. All right. So the um, the particular thing with this game as well is um, you, you kind of fly various days of missions. Ooh, that one's having a pop at me. And if you die, that's it. You kind of go back to the start. There's... I seem to remember you can... Once you've hit a certain point, you can restart from there. So I think it's... Certainly the first five days, you've got to make your way all the way through five days, and then you can start from the fifth day. Um, I think that's about as far as I've ever got. Um, so I could have started this on day five, but it seemed fun to uh, come back on day one, especially given it's a while since I've played it as well. Um, so yeah, that's quite a particular way of doing things. Right. 
dash back to our base. There's a drone coming in. Let's take him on. Whoa! Did we get it? Yeah, it did. So my intention for this uh, little recording session is to just play until I die. Um, I, as I say, I haven't played this for uh, I think it's a couple of months maybe. Um, but one of the things I like about it is it is fun to just dip into. Um, it's not something I'd play very intensively. Um, but as a, uh, I mean, quite often I've come in and just um, played it for 10, 15 minutes before bedtime or something like that, just to kind of unwind. Right, we're going for the foundry. I think that should be okay. I'll just concentrate on using the rockets. Right, mission straight down there. Let's go for it. What have I got selected? Rockets, there we go. Oh! Just drop it off. And then let's swap weapons and take on some of these drones. Oh! Oh, this has suddenly got quite intense. Right, let's see if we can take out some of the drone. Where is he? There he is. And then I can get back to my mission. Uh, come on! <laughs> got it. Right, anyone else? Yeah, got him there. Alright. What are we on? Guns, guns, rocket. Ah, oh, another blasted drone. Where is he? Right, let's see if we can do a quick run in before we get disturbed. Ah! I paid no attention whatsoever to, um... Ah! <laughs> what I had selected. Oh! Just pop the flare off. Right. Yay! Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? So you can go and attack the enemy base as well. So the the uh, uh, the enemies are obviously coming from a um, sort of a heli carrier thing as well. So you can actually go and attack that. You can take it out by taking out its um, engines, which is kind of fun, but obviously a bit dangerous. Um, you know, you're making quite a gamble by going and doing that. Because there's a lot of defences. Can hear you. Gotcha. Right. Home. Where's home? There. Let's make a run for home. Ah, uh, not doing a good job of this. Land. <coughs> Excuse me. So I can't help but think, so I, um, I've reserved a, um, what's it called? Steam Deck. 
yeah, Steam Deck, right? Um, the kind of it's not supposed to be a switch from Valve at all, kind of thing. Um, and a game like this, I can see being perfect um, for playing on something like that. I've got quite a few games that I can see myself wanting to play on it, um, and this is definitely one of them. Uh, no, no, gun, gun, rocket, there we go. Why to change, why to change? I've got to remember it's why to change, X to fire. Over the top. Let's see if we can concentrate on this. Ah! Shit! Oh no, it fell on me. I can't believe it fell on me. Oh, for pity's sake. I was doing really quite well there. It fell on me. Uh, oh, that's so annoying. Uh, so yeah, th this is what I was saying earlier. Um, I yeah, now to play, I go back to either day one. I can actually play from day five because um, I've managed to get that far in the past. In fact, I, I can't remember what day I got to. Some way past day five. Um, I haven't got the heart to. Uh, play through all of those missions again um, just for the sake of recording but yeah the, this is the plus side but also the downside of this game is yeah I can't kind of go back to where I just um, died I'd have to record myself playing back up to that level again um, but I like it for that it, it's kind of fun there's you've you know you've got to you've got to find some balance um, when um going on these missions because of course it's it there's um this desire that you know there's an obvious thing of oh what i should do is actually go and take everything on and then go and attack the uh enemy heli carrier and things like that but as i said a little bit earlier because it's so heavily defended you stand a chance of dying and so if you do die you've got to go back to day one or you know if you further beyond day five you've got to go back to day five i can't remember if the next day you've got to reach day 10 or something like that and, um, but yeah there's that thing of the rewards for doing better are um, greater but at the same time the amount of effort you're going to have to put in if you die um, is greater as well which yeah I find it a really clever way of doing things I mean it's not something this uh, game invented, obviously. It's a very old idea. And of course, I, yeah, I'm, I'm old enough to have owned and played and even written games that had no save mode. They, you know, you started at the easiest level and it got harder and harder and harder until you lost your life and then that was it and you started again. Um, you know, much like, um, uh, Space Invaders and things like that, you know, the old arcade games and everything. And even back in the day on the ZX81 and the VIC-20 and the Specky and stuff like that, yeah, a lot of games were like that. And this is obviously kind of reminiscent of that as well. Anyway, that's enough uh, reminiscing from me. This is Skyrogue. It's, I've, you know, owned it for quite a while now and it's as much fun as ever and I keep dipping in and um, I find it really adorable. And the idea of actually having a handheld Steam library play some games device that I'd be able to play something like this on really does appeal. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.